What's up all you cool cats and kittens at home? As a little joke in case you've been watching the Tiger King on Netflix at home while you've been quarantined because of coronavirus. My name is Dylan Joyce. I'm with Joyce Brothers Farms in Dyer, Tennessee. And I like to share my projects with you on YouTube and I hope that y'all enjoy it. This is a project we done this winter. We extended the tongue of our water trailer and added a deck to be able to carry bulk chemical tanks on the front. Before, we used this 1986 Ford F-350 with the flatbed to carry the bulk tanks with. But, we always had a tank on the bed taking up space and was never able to carry enough chemicals for the job we wanted to do that day. Here you can see us extending the frame of the trailer. We used 5 inch channel iron to match the existing frame and cut the frame and added 8 foot. We used diamond plate steel down each side to stiffen the welds and to help give it support. Here you can see us adding the deck. This deck was the back of an old trailer that was salvaged. We cut it to the right length and welded pieces of angle iron to it and bolted it to the frame where we could remove it if there ever was an issue. Here we are adding our 35 gallon mix tank. The previous 15 gallon tank was not big enough to do everything we needed to do. Since we had gotten the bigger self propelled sprayer, we had to add more chemicals per, per load. So that is the reason we added the 35 gallon tank to be more efficient. Here we are using the tractor and three point hitch forklift to remove the tank for it to be ready to, plant, uh, to paint. We use two large ratchet straps to pick up the tank. On the back you can see where we added a new rack and bumper. We cut oval holes into the three and a half inch channel to insert our new LED lights that you can see much better than the previous lights. Here you can see the trailer with the tank removed and it gives you a much better view of how we have the deck mounted. We will remove this deck to paint it. Here we have the trailer all stripped down, the tires off, and we have taken a grinder and ground the frame with a flap disc to remove any rust or other blemish that might affect the paint. I use an electric spray gun to paint the trailer. It doesn't do quite as good a job as an air gun, but it is a lot faster and covers a lot more area, and it does a sufficient job for this project. Here you can see me painting it with gray primer. We use John Deere Construction Yellow to do the rest of the project. We chose yellow because it was the color the trailer originally was from the s and Sprayer Company. And we chose John Deere Construction Yellow because it was the closest match and we have a John Deere store available locally. Here you can see the finished product and everything ready to start going back on and going together. The first thing we put back on is the deck that the bulk tank will sit on. You can see the two pipes that we added are hand holds and we added steps on the bottom so that we could get up and down off of the deck easier. We also added LED side markers for better visibility. Here you can see the pretty well finished product after we got through painting. The only thing left now to do is to add the plumbing. This fall we got a new truck 
for our service truck for the farm. We sold the old 1986 Ford F-350 you saw in the beginning of the movie and replaced it with a 2013 GMC Sierra 2500. On that truck we added extra leaf springs in all our toolboxes and it has worked out real nice and it works really good for pulling the water tractor. We like to use the service truck to pull the water trailer because if there ever is an issue with the sprayer or the trailer itself, we have all the tools right there in the field to work and fix it. Well guys, that's pretty well it for our, our water trailer video. I hope you enjoy it, and if you don't mind, like and subscribe. Or YouTube will think we're good fellers, and maybe they'll show you more of our videos. Thank you very much. What's up, guys? It's March 30th, and we're putting out the first load of burn down for the year. We got done finished uh, spraying the wheat. Saturday, I believe, we fertilized it and then sprayed uh, Harmony over the top. And now we're getting ready to getting ready to roll, putting out some Roundup and Sterling Blue with some first uh, surfactant and some drift reduction agent called Interlot. Sterling Blue is just generic dicamba. And we got a using our mixing cone our new water trailer set up and it's working really well it's so nice not to have the bulk tank over on the truck that it's on the trailer and self-contained and we got an area to stand on and work off of now so we're gonna get this thing filled up and get the spraying